guys, it's your girl Charisma. Welcome back to my channel. To all my new K-Spot members, welcome to the family. Let's jump right into this review. wig review today we're talking about the Altre synthetic sleek lake park hd lace front wig her name is shadora i have her on the color number one you can pick this up over so good baby for 55 dollars and 99 cents i will link everything in the description box below if you guys want to go ahead and purchase her but let's just go ahead and get into the stats so this comes with your standard two combs in the front one comb in the back with your adjustable straps the material is going to be synthetic the length is 14 inches long this is heat resistant fiber safe up to 400 degrees and this is a deep sea lace part with hd lace ladies when i tell you shadora is everything shadora is everything ma'am like she's giving she is just giving me life you guys i knew that this was going to hit in a number one i don't know why i just felt it in my bones because although shadora does look exactly or similar to the stock card and the colors on the stock card are the um drff2 ginger copper and then the drff sunkiss brown i did not want this in either color i just thought that you know, with the highlights, they're like really thick and it just kind of offsets the color scheme. I just did not like that. Now, this does also come in, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven special different colors, you guys. And the only one I probably would have reviewed, if not number one, would have been the DR Chocolate Swirl for this. This is so beautiful, you guys, and almost forgot, if you're going to get a specialty color, even where you're going to pay for it to three to six dollars extra on the website for your specialty color. Now, enough of that, girl. But yeah, this definitely is hitting in the number one. When I put Shadora on, I was just like, yes. Yes! This is everything. She's absolutely beautiful. So, says in the description to come with a deep sea lace part. I'm going to go ahead and show y'all the C part right quick i i thought the part was cool you definitely can pluck her because there are a little bit of strays up there and i just they were kind of bugging me but you definitely can pluck her now like i said earlier she does come with small hd lace um remember this is a sleek lace part unit this is not to um the emphasis is not on the lace okay because it's not a frontal so the emphasis is not on the lace it does come with a small amount of baby hair as well that you can utilize and I went ahead and cut that off because you guys already know how I am about baby hairs and lace and all that good stuff. But it does come with, a, uh, like I said, the HD lace. It's not nothing to run home to mom about. It's just like your normal average HD lace. Now, this is going to be big hair girl friendly, but it is not small hair girl friendly. I do have my combs adjusted, not the straps, but the combs because it is a bit roomy up there. So you can definitely utilize the straps and the combs if you have a peanut sized head like me because my head is fairly small. So it is a bit roomy up there. Just utilize your combs. You should be okay. Now this is going to be a very soft yakky texture unit, you guys. And I love it. I love that this is a soft yakky texture. If this was a straighter texture, it would not hit at all. So it is so soft, you guys. Hands are going right through her. Love the big, pretty barrel curls and when you get this out the package she's curled tight but i went through her with a wide tooth comb which we'll get into more in the styling part of the video but it's super soft you guys there is no uh shedding no tangling remember this is a 14 inch unit so it's a perfect length and remember the shorter the units are the better they are when it comes to like shedding and tangling anyway so i was so 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 happy with that it's so soft you guys i just Love putting my hands through her. And then I want you to really take a, take a look at the body. Look at the body. Look at the body. Look at the body. Because it's bodying. Okay. She is definitely bodying. Okay. This is absolutely gorgeous, you guys. I also really love the style of Shadora. Because Shadora seems like it, it's a fun girl wig. But it's like party in the front and business in the back i don't know i mean i know it sounds like a mullet and many of you millennials and gen z's will not get that reference but gen x would definitely get it um it, but i mean she's a fun time wig but then she's a serious wig it just kind of depends on what color you get this unit in but i mean this is perfect for all seasons which i love it's very very lightweight although she's a soft yakky and it looks heavy it's very lightweight so this is definitely great for all seasons like you can just 
just rock this girl in all seasons, ma'am, and just be doing you, right? Now, as far as the behind the ear test is concerned, I really wouldn't go there because it really is not a behind the ear test unit. Um, you guys, it's you know, it's fairly thick here at the sides where the ear tabs are, so I really would not stick this behind your ear. You're gonna see lines of demarcation everywhere if you do that. So just keep that in mind, like just. Don't do that, girl. This is also going to be a left side, right part unit. You cannot shift this wig. I tried, it looks really strange if you shift it to the right. So I definitely would just keep it to the left. The way that she shifted on the stock part is also to the left. So I definitely would keep it there. Being that this is a deep seat part, it's obvious that the, you know, it's going to be a left side part wig. And if you shift it with that C part, it's gonna look really, really strange. So just, if you're not into uh, left side part wigs, girl, then this ain't the unit for you. So let's just go ahead and get into the styling of Miss Shador. So once again, with sleek legs, totally, totally love them because there's not much you need to do. I went ahead and cut the lace, went in with my MAC translucent powder up under the unit just to kind of, you know, blend out that lace because it was a bit white. And then I just went ahead and put her on my head. I adjusted the combs there. I went in with my MAC concealer in NC45 right there in the parting area. And then also what I did was I just took my hot comb and just kind of went around the part just just to flatten it out a bit didn't want to flatten it out too much because i wanted it to stay looking natural as possible but i went in with uh the, the hot comb just around the parting area there did not put any uh styling product in this unit except my ion hairspray i sprayed this baby to like 1990 especially on the side where the big big curls are because i wanted it the flip to stay right so the I love the ion hairspray because it sets it but it doesn't make it super hard and we want it not to be super hard because we still want that bounce so I went in with that on the right side there and then also on the left just a small amount okay and then I went in with my um my oh god what is it called my big <laughs> my wide tooth comb I did not want to go through this with a vent brush. You definitely can, but I wanted the curls to kind of stay as much as they could. So I just thought playing with it with a wide tooth comb in my fingers would set this off, right? So you definitely can go in with your vent brush, but I would recommend against that. But then again, that's just my opinion. And when I, when I, I like after I did that, I was pretty much done styling this unit. I was not in the mirror no more than 10 minutes. The only reason I was only in the was in the mirror for 15 because I was sitting there like, oh my god girl this is so cute but other than that straight up 15 minutes and i was pretty much good to go this little piece right here is bugging me but trust me it looks cute when you hit it from the side but on camera it looks like it's just like poking out and it's just like giving me mad anxiety it makes me want to drink a starbucks but anywho yeah the styling was really easy for this unit let's go ahead and jump into the price right quick 55.99 bit pricey Bit pricey, but remember on So Good BB, you can always use, uh, utilize coupon codes. And right now, I'm looking at the one for the autumn sale, which is 30% off. So with the 30% off, you're going to be looking at probably $45, which still isn't bad. Like I said, the prices are creeping up. Sleek Lays did not used to be over like $40. So, I mean, I think with the style... It just depends, like, with the style and how they want to set the price with the different wig websites. But for me, it's a bit pricey. It should have been 50 because at 50 you still could have utilized the coupon code and came out at 40 you see what i'm saying but either way with the coupon code i'm not mad if this didn't offer a coupon code shador probably wouldn't have got bought okay you guys know how i am about spending over 40 dollars. and if there's no coupon codes there's really no point for me to spend my money i don't even think how cute the wig is but I think it's okay with the coupon code, so I'm not mad at the price at all. All right, dolls, so let's just go ahead and get into the pros and cons. We'll start with the cons first. I think the wig is a little bit roomy for smaller head women, men, whatever. Uh, you definitely have to utilize combs, but I'm not mad at that because that's what the combs and straps are there for. So you definitely can rock this and be, still be comfortable even if you utilize your combs. So that was a con for me. Uh, I think the... I just hate that the lace is the way that it is because the lace is a bit dense and you're definitely going to have to pluck. I had to pluck at the part there to kind of get it to blend. So the lace, you know, the density of it is a bit dense. And speaking of density, the density in this unit is absolutely perfect. I forgot to mention that early on. The density is great, you guys. Not too thin, not too thick. 
it's perfect so that was another con for me i just think that you know you would have to kind of go in and pluck a little bit more than you would usually have to but other than that i think this is a great unit it definitely is going to be a throw on and go on my book i love the curls i love the style i love that it's bouncy i love that it's soft i love that it's constructed really well and it's simple it's simple but it's like elegant if you know what i mean and i really think that it hit in a color number one okay so if you want to see like more in-depth looks like in-depth looks of this unit you can always follow me on my instagram where i um post uh photos my stories you can see uh the unit a little bit more clearer because i'm wearing black on black and it's hard to kind of see the definition in the unit you guys but trust me when i tell you this is everything so yeah the pros definitely outweigh the cons definitely going to get this my christmas stamp of approval you guys go over to so good bb and pick miss shadora that's pretty much it for this review if you enjoyed my content today don't forget to hit that thumbs up button as well as the sub to the k squad button that's my face popping up on the screen somewhere click that subscribe to my channel you guys also follow me on all social media at charismas world on tiktok instagram snapchat and twitter and i will see you guys in the next videos remember to stay beautiful and blessed bye